Equip helps you screen candidates across skills with its automated assessments. In this video, we will cover the basics of getting started on Equip. We will look at how to create an assessment, invite candidates to it, attempting the assessment as a candidate, and then finally view its results. Let's get started. I'm already logged into an account. I'll click the Create Assessment button. Type the name of the role that you're hiring for. Let's create an assessment for a Python developer. Select the years of experience and click continue. You'll see that the skills that are specific to the role are already mapped to the assessment. You can remove a skill and add any skill that you want. Then you'll see two options to proceed. If you select quick create, Equip will do all the work for you and your assessment will be ready as soon as you select it. If you click on select tests, then you'll get to see the entire process, which is what we'll do here. You'll see the different test types that are available on Equip. In this assessment, we'll be adding a quiz and a programming test. However, there are also other test types such as a CSS, SQL test, or a video response. Now, let's take a look at the skills that are added. You'll see that each skill has a difficulty level and a number of questions corresponding to it. You can increase or decrease the number of questions as you want. And then you can also have different difficulty levels for the same skill. If you're wondering how to gauge the difficulty of the questions across these difficulty levels, you can click on the preview icon to take a look at the sample content. This is representative of the kind of questions that would be asked for that skill. Let's take a look at the programming test. You can either retain it or delete it. And also, if you want to go through the other questions in Equip's question bank, you can do so too. Moving on, in the test order tab, you can decide the weightage for each test. If you think one test is more important than the other, then you can adjust the weights for it. Then when you click next, you'll see a few settings that can be modified at any time. Click create and your assessment will be ready. Now let's see how to invite candidates. Click on the invite option and type the email address of the candidates that you wish to invite. You can also bulk upload emails using a CSV file and you can modify the email template if required. Click send. And once the email goes out, the candidates will receive a unique link to attempt the assessment. Let's take a look at the email. Now we'll attempt the assessment as a candidate. You'll see that the candidate has all the instructions to understand how the assessment works. And also they can attempt the demo test to get familiar with the platform. Let's start with attempting the first test, which is a quiz. At this point, the candidate has to give permission to their camera, screen, and microphone to enable proctoring for the assessment. The questions are randomly drawn from Equip's question bank one at a time based on the difficulty level and the skills that you had selected for the assessment. You'll see there's a timer. There are points and negative points. And that's it. The first test is done. Now let's attempt the programming test. The candidate will be able to see the question on the left side and then also select the language that they want to write the code in. They can write the code here, run different sample test cases for it and click on submit when they finally done. The assessment is complete. Let's take a look at the results. On your dashboard, click on the assessment title to view the results. And this is the attempt for the assessment 
that we just did. However, let's take a look at some sample results where multiple candidates have attempted a single assessment. Let's take the example of John. You can see the time at which he started and finished the assessment. And his assessment had two tests. First is a backend developer quiz and the second is a Python coding test. Clicking on the score corresponding to the test type will give you all the details for it. In the test summary, you will be able to see the candidate's performance um, for each skill in the assessment in detail, and you can also filter it by the difficulty level for each skill. Then the proctoring summary tells you if there were any attempts to cheat while attempting the assessment. For example, if the candidate tries to switch to another application, open a new tab, Google the answers, ask ChatGPT and so on, it will be captured here and other things as well, such as multiple face detection, noise detection, and so on. In session recording, you'll be able to see how the candidate interacted with the screen while taking the assessment. Similarly, if you go back to the second test on Python coding, you'll be able to see the code submitted by the candidate and how many test cases it passed for. and you'll have the proctoring summary and the session recording for it. So that's all about using Equip. If you have any other questions, you can connect with our team using the live chat option on the website and we'll help you out right away.